What's going on everybody? My name is Mike. Welcome to Max Speed and today I got a special video for you guys today. Beautiful. Beautiful she is. Yeah. I like this area, people told me they like this area, so I'm gonna make this my normal film spot, but it's just, it's really windy up here, especially because it's fall, and I don't have one of those uh, Bluetooth mics that connects to the camera, so you, can, you can't really hear me that clearly, and you're gonna hear the wind noise. So, solution to that, I'm just gonna buy one, and that's, that'll probably come in the next few weeks. It's like 80 to 100 bucks, it's not that bad. Uh, I'm gonna pick one up, but until then, I think I'm gonna film on the downstairs level of this parking garage, just so you don't have to hear the wind noise. All right, so we're in the lower level of the parking lot. It's looking pretty good. Uh, it's still kind of noisy just because there's a bunch of traffic outside, but fuck it. So, one of the things that's... I'm just gonna real quick go over, you know, some of the damages on the car. Uh, it's nothing too crazy, nothing too serious. And also, I'm just gonna tell you what needs to be fixed. So, the hood, you can't really tell unless it's in sunlight, but from here to here, it's faded. Um, from pretty much here on down it's fine and there's a few cosmetic things with the car like for example the little paint chip right there a uh, little tiny paint chips here there's some dead bugs in the car because believe it or not I still haven't washed the car since I brought it up here uh, I'm gonna wash it for uh, Wednesday's video there's a bumper scratch down here there's a crack in the bumper right there like I thought it was an actual scratch no no this thing is legit cracked like you can push it and stuff there's some deep scratches like somebody keyed the car right there um the headlights are pretty clean they're starting to yellow because the guy who restored them was a dealership guy so uh i might change those out but not anytime soon on the side here we have the hubcaps and those are super super scratched up the uh the steely wheel is kind of it's like you know rusted tires i actually have three different brand tires on i'll show you right now but the tread on the tires is still pretty good i'm going to use them for winter time then i'm going to swap them out uh everything else pretty much is just cosmetic like the little line stripping right here it's starting to strip off the paint um there's a little dent along with a deep scratch right there there's actually a scratch here i didn't even notice this with a little bit of rust on it i'll show you that's kind of saddening but that seems to be it for that side of the car. Um, the wing, the wing is it's like super faded up here. It's got a couple, it's definitely on the right side. It's all fucked up, but uh, that's okay. And the car also came with this 3A racing exhaust tip. Literally, I'll show you. It's literally just the tip. No muffler, no full exhaust, nothing. It's literally just the tip. That's what she said. But it's a tip with no exhaust so it doesn't make any different sound it sounds the same in fact it rattles a little bit because the guy who put it on didn't bolt it on properly so when i swap the exhaust that should be fixed and it should sound much better all right coming on to the passenger side uh, a couple of scuff marks right there nothing too crazy um i'm pretty sure i had some things wrong oh here we go so on the driver's side door right here it kind of looks like bird shit but it's not it's actually uh a deep scratch in the paint and it's rusted so that's kind of bothering me a little bit uh, that's actually bird shit <laughs> but this over here is a huge deep scratch like somebody literally just ran a key down there uh, other than that windshield pretty clean no cracks this is inside the car you have to scrape that off that's from this used to be uh, in Virginia so the registration used to go in the middle so I have to scrape that off still interior is pretty clean i'll go in there in a second um let's see let's see the bumper okay the bumper has some scratches too it's got one right here right there uh it's got a couple of you know little dings uh, actually there's not many dings on this car just a little bit of uh scratches that can be buffed out but see and there's some more there's like another deep key looking mark somebody just ran the key over there uh other than that the car is in pretty good condition. Um, let's step in the back real quick. So here's the back. And as you can tell, it's really clean. I haven't 
you know, I don't have anything on the floor. And passenger seat, pretty clean. So here's an, uh, like pretty much a point of view of where I sit in the car. Here's my gauges. They're like a grayish white. And shut the door real quick. So in here, it's pretty quiet. Should be able to hear me better now, but this is pretty much my view. Um, this is gonna be swapped out. I know I said that before. It's just, I found this really, really cool stereo. It's pretty much for anyone who's really into sound. It's called the Pioneer PRS80, I believe. It's like 250 bucks. It's only a single DIN, but my boy has it and I've seen it in action. It's really, really sick and I really want it. So it's 250 bucks. So that's why I haven't gotten the stereo yet. I was gonna get a little cheap, you know, $100 single DIN just so I can have Bluetooth, but I figured if I'm gonna spend money on the stereo, it's gonna be one that I'm gonna keep for a long, long time. So this is still gonna be here. I'm just gonna swap out this part and it'll still have this handy dandy pocket here. Or I may just get the uh, the regular single din kit because I, to be honest, this pocket's great, but I don't really ever close it. I usually leave it open for my phone. So no big deal there. Controls, the controls are really, really simple. Okay, there's uh, you know the AC climate control. Um, you want cold air, hot air, and then there's where you want to send it over here you can have the ac on you can put the uh defroster i'm not sure if this goes for the back or not i'm pretty sure it's just for the front and uh here is this is just like if you have cool air coming in it'll ventilate in the car okay over here here's where some of the magic happens you have the sunroof button um the cruise control and the mirrors which i have already adjusted obviously no need to play with those there's uh, two vents here, pretty much one. Another two vents in the middle, and another vent over there. So this car is really, really fun. Uh, it's relatively clean. I normally don't keep a water bottle in here, so this is usually closed. Um, here's the gear shifter, really fun to play with. And here's like this little pocket. I don't have a center console, this is all I got. So I keep my pens in there, and here's the glove box over there, nothing really Nothing too crazy in there, just a couple of CDs, some napkins, and some papers. That's it. So I've keep or I've kept the car relatively clean. I got to vacuum up the interior because the seats have a little bit of crumbs, a little bit of uh, just a little shit inside the seats. Floor mats, those are going to be washed. Mine are the dirtiest because I drive the car every single day. Mine's got some dirt all around it. Um, it's nothing too crazy. Carpet could use a little bit of vacuuming too, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the car to a wash on Wednesday. If I were to actually change the speakers on this car, it does have tweeters, so those are pretty cool. Just adds for the uh, effect of the car. But to be honest, man, I love everything about the car. I love the gauges. I love the, the fact that it's a five-speed manual. I love shifting through the gears. It's, it's fun to drive every single day, even in traffic, believe it or not. And um, just overall, the basic, simple, you know, Honda life settings there. Down here, you have the, um, you know, push to open up your gas tank, pull to open up your trunk. Up here, get the little sunroof with the little uh, rain guard, wind visor thing. Pretty sick. And if you notice, this is purely gray and this is like not the same color. So my visor is a little bit different. So I bought my market, or <laughs> I bought an aftermarket uh, visor just because everything's stock on this car. It's not modified at any point. So let's talk about what's wrong with the car. Now here's where the magic happens. So when I bought this, it looked this clean. I've kept it clean because obviously I haven't touched anything yet. So it's relatively clean. I mean, it looks like they detailed it. Everything looks, to be honest, everything looks pretty brand new. It's a really small battery because, let me show you, it's a really small engine, really small car. This, abs uh, I think it's like a heat shield, absolutely rusted on my Accord. I'm surprised it's not rusted here. It's got a little bit of dirt that won't come out, but not a big deal. So it looks like they detailed the inside of the engine bay. They did a pretty good job. So one thing I need to change are most likely the struts. Now I have to change the struts only because whenever I'm going over a small bump or I occasionally shift into gear from like first to second or second to third, um, mostly when I go over bumps though, there's like this, like, it makes me cringe every time. There's like this super loud metal banging noise and it sounds like it's coming from the front right of the car. So like on the, toward the passenger side of the engine. It could be a bunch of stuff. I'm hoping it's not anything wrong with the transmission. Uh, it sounds like a metal knocking noise, if that makes any sense. I'm going to check out the struts, check that out. But that's one thing that's mechanically wrong with the car. Another thing is when I'm turning, 
and I'm giving the car acceleration, one or the other. It can be both at the same time or it can be one or the other. The car starts to make like a squealing sound every other second. And it sounds like, I don't know, it's very strange, but it, uh, I know it has something to do with the belts. So it could just be that I have a loose belt. It could be something that needs lubrication. I'm not sure, I'm gonna check that out as well. There's a Mustang riding around the parking garage. I just heard him come up. He's above me, it sounds so good. All right. Uh, the third and last thing I think that's something really wrong with the car is that when, I, when we got the oil change at the Honda dealership, they said that the guy who did the oil change last time stripped the drain bolt. So they had to kind of like jerry rig something on to get it out and then put it back on. So I'm gonna need to change my oil pan in the next two to three oil changes. And uh, I gotta change my oil in about 2,000 miles or so. So when I change my oil, I'll change out the drain pan. It's like, I think it's like 20 to $50, one or the other. I can't remember how much it is, but it's a Civic, so it's not that expensive. So I can't wait to uh, really just get under the car and start working on it. Nothing too crazy, it is my daily driver. So I'm just gonna swap out the exhaust, put on uh, some wheels and some tires once winter's over. Just clean up the car, clean up the little things, the little scratches, the little dents and just make it look nice. It's my daily driver. I'm gonna tint the windows. I'm gonna put my social media as decals on the back on the rear windshield and everything. And um, I'm gonna tint the sunroof too because fuck it, why not? So yeah, the, um, the thing with this car is I don't wanna waste, and I don't wanna call it a waste. I don't wanna spend way too much money on the car building it because to be honest, at the end of the day, it is my daily driver and it is just a Civic. Oddly enough, you can kind of see the hood is, is faded. It's a weird angle, I know, but you can kind of see the uh, the hood fades. That's not a reflection, it's just simply the paint is fading, that's all. Oh, and one more thing I wanted to add, it's nothing, it's not really something wrong with the car, mechanically, uh, I guess technically it is. The gate, the, what do you call it, the light bulb in here, it needs to be changed, because this is kind of like a dead zone, and I can't see it, it's not lit up. The re And also, this entire side was already fine before this entire side was replaced by me in my previous video. Uh, if you want to go check that out, it's my last video that I uploaded. I replaced the light bulbs on this side of the gauge cluster, and over here I didn't. So now the uh, speedo and the fuel gauge, it's like super, super dim compared to the temperature gauge and the RPM gauge. So I kind of have to redo this again. I'm gonna rip this out one more time. I'm gonna replace all the bulbs over here, and then we should be good. I am, however, gonna do all the maintenance, all the work, uh, everything on my own. I'm gonna try to do it on myself. Uh, I'm not taking this car to a mechanic only because uh, unless I really have to, it's got to be a mechanic that I trust. So hopefully I can find a friend who has a shop or a friend who is a mechanic who owns a shop, one or the other. And uh, I just want to be able to do everything on my own. So I am gonna. I don't know much about fixing up cars. I don't know much about modifying cars for performance. However, uh, you know, the way they learn is they just did it and that's the way I'm going to learn. I'm going to just do it. If I fuck up, I fuck up, learn from my mistakes, no big deal. But overall, I'm excited to work on the car and just have a lot of fun. It's uh, fun daily driving it. Right now, it's completely stock. It's still pretty fun to drive. Not gonna lie, I could use a little bit more power and I'm not gonna turbo the car because I do have other plans to um, buy other cars. And I have a, pretty much a bunch of plans on how to make more money. I do have a few other channels that I play. I have a gaming channel and I have a personal channel where I kind of just vlog and, and do anything that's not car related. It's usually entrepreneurial related uh, entrepreneurial mindset and uh, just advice in general. So if you wanna check that out, it's down below in the description. But other than that, that's gonna do it for this video. I appreciate you watching. This was just kind of an overall quick walk around slash uh, overview of my car. I'll do a full review in a few weeks. I have a couple of cars that I'm ready to review. This one, uh, I have a two door sports car. I'm not gonna let you know what it is. And I also, I might have a friend's car that I can review. It's heavily modified. It's not running right now but if it gets running, I'll let you know. So this channel, I'm gonna I'm gonna vamp it up, man. I got three more videos coming out this week. Stay tuned, I got a whole plan. Uh, I'm changing my ways, all right? I'm changing my ways. From now on, every Monday I plan, or every Sunday, the week before, or pretty much the day before the following week, I plan out my whole week in terms of what to do. And in terms of YouTube, I plan out my videos and what's gonna be my topic for this video and how I'm gonna record it, where I'm gonna go, whatever, this and that, the third. And this way I'm never gonna be walking out of my house with a camera and saying, shit, what the fuck am I gonna do today? I'll leave that for the vlog. 
That's going to do it for today's video. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you like car content that's consistently uploaded. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram. It's going to be somewhere right here. All links are down below in the description as well. Don't forget to check those out. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.